Hello, my most amazing artists. Today we're going to be getting back our glue line self-portraits because last week we drew with glue and now it should have dried clear. Today we're going to be using chalk pastel to add color to our portraits. Now, chalk pastel is a little funky because sometimes the colors get disguised. So to help you out, I would suggest putting those colors out on the color wheel so that you can see them clearly because today there will be rules. I have these separated by warm and cool colors in your bins for a reason, because when you're blending chalk pastels together, you can only use something called analogous colors. Analogous colors are any three colors or any neighbors on the color wheel. So when you spin that wheel, you'll see that it shows you different analogous colors. It'll show you up to three because that's how many you can blend. You can also just look and see which chalks are next to each other on your wheel. Of course, I did not put that yellow back in the right place. Please make sure you do so. And be careful that they don't fall on the ground as you're working. So I'm deciding to color in certain areas that are small with just one color. But then when it gets to bigger areas like my face, I'm gonna blend up to three colors together. The reason you have to use analogous colors together is because they work well. They complement each other because they're next to each other, meaning that they mix together very well. If you were to take two opposite colors on the color wheel, like say yellow and purple, it would make brown. Those would not mix very well together. So make sure you're only using analogous colors. When you go to blend an area, after you color it in, you can blend with your peace sign fingers, your pointer and your index finger. Those are gonna be the only fingers that you blend with, the middle and the pointer finger, because it's important not to blend with your whole hand so you don't get your whole paper messy. In fact, after you blend with a certain color, you will have a sponge as well as art wipes on your table that you can clean your hands off with in between so you don't accidentally blend any other colors together and make mud brown. Now I'm deciding to use blue on my face inspired by Le Fauves, those artists that use kind of crazy colors to show their emotions on their portraits. So then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I use some warm colors. You can also think of analogous colors in groups like warm and cool. Those mean that they blend well together. So on my hair, I decide to use warm. Then in my background, in each glue section, it's okay to use up to three analogous colors. So in every section of glue, that's what I do. Now when it comes to my face, I didn't really like the blue too much. So you do have the option to go realistic with it today. You'll see that after I complete my background and blend everything in when I'm done coloring, then I go back on my face because I decided, hmm, I didn't really like the blue so much with how it looked with my bright color hair. So I really loved how my rainbow background looked and I think I don't wanna bring out that blue on my skin. I'm gonna to decide to go more realistic just to show you that you have options today. Of course, this would have been easier if I did it the first time because now I have to blend it with blue. I always add white if I wanna get rid of something. Now, when I dust off my paper, I never blow it into the air. I always tap it on the top of my table and I can clean it off with a sponge later. Now, I'm making that skin color Color instead with my pastel there's brown and white you can mix together or use a little bit of yellow then I use a q-tip with a little bit of sponge to get it damp and then I go over top of my glue lines to bring them back out and make them nice and clean all right when you're done today or when you're done working and the timer goes off you're gonna put your chalk back in your bins by warm and cool make sure those color wheels are also cleaned off clean your table use art wipes for your hands and we are done now these pictures are going to go on the drying rack when you're done today because we need to spray them with hairspray. I'm going to be spraying them with hairspray after school so that that chalk doesn't smear all over your table folder. All right, artists, have fun today.